18 year old. 14 year old. A 14 year old and an 18 year old. Relish the destruction. Teen and preteen drug and alcohol abuse. Teenage bullying is an epidemic. A small group of young punks. Self inducing abortions. <laughs> Theories of murders and shootings. It was mayhem. Boys putting their own lives at risk. 15-year-old. A 15-year-old. This teenager. Stole a car. Gangs of young people. Teens in crisis. Punks. Seemed like a war zone. When a culture doesn't provide formal rites of passage or initiations, then you get usually destructive versions of it. Maybe if we had other ways for kids to illustrate their adult-like qualities that they wouldn't resort to these um, anti-social ones. That's what gang activity is about. That's what vandalism and all of that kind of destruction is about. It's about how do I prove to the world that I'm here and that I'm a man, that I'm not a little kid anymore. Young people at a certain age, it's very natural and important that they begin to um, challenge the values of their, their upbringing and of their culture and to begin to look in, go inward. respond to this need. Our social infrastructure has broken down. Half of our marriages fall apart. Everybody's working so hard that community is in fragments. How do we come together to provide this for young people? Without a mentor as a companion, it won't work. Initiation depends on the generosity of the grown-ups and the mentor has to be someone that's not going to abandon that boy. When communities saw that this was happening in young people and they were beginning to rebel against the um, cultural values or the parent values, they knew, okay, this is good, this something right is happening. They're ready and they're, it's time for them to be initiated. And so for the health of the community and the health of the individual, they created uh, rites of passage ceremonies. The question then is, do we actually consecrate those markers? Do we celebrate those markers? Do we prepare our young people so that as they're moving from one stage to the next, that they understand that for every privilege, there is a corresponding responsibility? In absence of that, the day a child gets a driver's license is the day they steal their mom's car. The day they are old enough to buy alcohol is the day they get drunk. And on and on and on. We are not addressing the needs of young people and we, we have taken away, I think, from many of them opportunities to participate meaningfully in the community.
it deprives them of this chance to understand themselves better and to develop a sense of being important. I don't see it as a failure of the young. I see it as a failure of, of the elders. So we as elders, we have responsibility. We have no choice but to speak, to teach, to show, and hope and bring the young along with us. human psyche so desperately needs ceremonial markings. It is like magic. And we'll find that the community will be safer. We'll find that kids will be less violent, less confused, less suicidal. These are better than meds, better than going to the prisons and juvenile facilities. Every family unit, every community, every bigger clan, every village, city, town, state, whatever, need to figure out for their young people what works. How do you initiate? Mother, father, guardian, I take my leave of you. I go away now to see a vision of my future. When I return, I will no longer be a child. Start to think about what your mission is, what you want to do. This helped me by uh, realizing that it's okay to cry, um, not just in front of like men, but in front of women, without feeling like you're any less of a man. After my initiation with women, every time I feel myself, like the, my foundation wavering, instead of needing to, to run to my husband or to these usual go-to people that are holding so much, it's, it's my sisters, it's, it's the women that can really hold me. We also have to ask, what's the community losing by, by not engaging young people? Creator put this person on the planet. We're supposed to nurture them to the point that we become recipients of the gift that they have. 
That's what Rights of Patches told me. Assist that person's growth so that when their gift is revealed to the world, the world will benefit. That's an adult's responsibility. Oh, yeah.